Hello all, welcome to today's BVLSI online lecture. Today we are going to discuss uh, transistor level implementation of 1 is to 2 decoder NOR based design using static CMOS logic. So let us go back to the gate level schematic. So uh, a, two, a 1 is to 2 decoder NOR based design gate level schematic is as follows. It has uh, one active low enable, one input in terms of S and it has two outputs Y0 and Y1. Uh, this is my gate level schematic of the same. So as you can see there are two NOR gates. So the output expression Y0 will be G bar plus S the whole bar and the output expression of the second NOR gate will be Y1 is equal to G bar plus S bar the whole bar. So you have a S input and a NOT gate connected so you have a S bar input also for the second NOR gate. Now let us see how we expand the output expression for our simplicity. So output expression as we have seen earlier Y0 is equal to G bar plus S the whole bar can be further simplified as per De Morgan's theorem as G dot S bar. Similarly Y0 can be further simplified as G bar plus S bar the whole bar as G dot S again by De Morgan's theorem. Now let us go ahead and implement the circuit. This is the truth table for the same. Let me just open up another window. Yeah, so as you can see your uh, G is my active low input. So basically it will be active whenever we apply a zero. So uh, your G and S are my two inputs and Y0 and Y1 are my two outputs. So basically my expression says Y0 expression says it will be Y0 will be 1 only when G is 1 and S bar is also 1. So in this case my G is 1 and S is 0 so S bar will be 1 hence Y0 will be 1. Similarly Y1 will be G into S so in this case G into S will be 1 into 0 so that will be 0. Similarly in the second case when G is 1 and S is 1 Y0 will be 0 because it will be 1 into 0 and similarly y1 will be uh, g and s both are 1 and 1 logic 1 and logic 1 so y1 will be 1. So y0 and y1 will be only 1 1 only for these two conditions. Now if d is 0 irrespective of the value of s my outputs y0 and y1 will be 0 as you can see from this equation. Now we have to implement this uh, 1 is to 2 decoder, we have to do the transistor level implementation using using CMOS static style. So let us go ahead and check our circuit. So this is my CMOS implementation of the same. So as you can see from the output expressions over here, it is G bar plus S the whole bar. So basically in my pull down network, I have two transistors. Uh, uh, NMOS transistors connected in parallel and the opposite will be true for PMOS transistors which will be connected in series in the pull up network and that is the expression for Y0 which has input as G bar and S. Similarly Y1 expression will have two transistors NMOS transistors in series in the pull down network and uh, two transistors in uh, sorry here for Y1 we have two NMOS transistors in parallel that is having the inputs G bar and S bar and in the pull up network we have PMOS transistors connected in series over here having the inputs as G bar and S bar. So the total transistor count here will be 4 year, 4 year so total 8 plus you require additional 2 transistors to implement S and S bar. Now without wasting any time let us go back to the LT spy simulation of the same. So let me just open up the LT spy simulation. So it's a 1 is to 2 NOR based design. So this is my 1 is to 2 
decoder using static CMOS logic. Now, if I minimize this and show it to you, it is the one and the same only. So as you can see, you have your G bar S, G bar S for Y naught and for Y1, you have inputs as G bar and S bar. So exactly this is the transistor level implementation of one is to two decoder. Just now we have referred. Now let us go ahead and check the output. So let me simulate this. So I have to have uh, four plane plots. So the four plane plots will be the first will be G bar, which is our active low input, enable input. Next will be my input S. And then I have my two outputs that is Y naught and Y1. Now let me show you this by minimizing this window. And uh, on the other side, I'll open up the truth table so that we can verify this. Okay, let me change the color of Y1 so that it is more clear to you. Okay, here there is Y1. And let me now open up the truth table. This is 1 is to 2 decoder truth table. So remember, here we are plotting G bar, and actually in the truth table, we have G. So opposite of uh, G will be valid over here. So where, whenever we say G bar is zero, here G means one. So first case G bar is zero. That means G will be one over here. S is zero. So G is one, S is zero. So my Y naught will be one. So exactly Y naught is one and Y one will be zero as per the truth table. Now when G is one, that is G bar is zero. Again, when the G is uh, 1, that is G bar is 0 and my S is 1. So here my G is 1 and S is also 1. So in this case, in this duration only, my Y1 will be 1. Yeah, exactly. It is the same case over here. And whenever my G is 1 and S is 0, again, Y Y naught will be 1. So in this duration, you have Y naught equal to 1. And whenever G is 0, G0 means G bar will be 1. So whenever that condition is there, irrespective of the value of S, my output will be 0. So indeed, my output Y0 and Y1 is 0 whenever I have uh, G as 0 or G bar as 1. So indeed, this truth table is uh, verified and uh, the circuit diagram which we have seen here, the circuit diagram which we see here on your LT spy simulation screen is indeed working as a um, one is to two decoder circuit using NOR based design. Thank you.